Okay, everybody. Um, let's see here. So, as you know, I've got a solar array back here in my yard. And we're in Michigan. And spring is finally here. And we got some nice sunshine coming in and weather. So, it is now time to actually start working. Uh, or, I want to get back to my crypto mining aspects that I stopped on about a year and a half ago. Um, I basically stopped because I needed some of the video cards out of the one rig I had and, uh, fast forward a year and a half. Now that I got the solar in, it's a perfect time to get started again. So uh, let's go check out, uh, my old rig that needs desperate cleaning. Okay. So my old rig is out here in my pole barn along with lots of other stuff. So here we go. So, as you can see, not this video card. I can't even remember why I hooked that one up, but I have a power supply sitting here, getting dusty. Uh, let's see, a 550, so just a crap power supply. Up here is really the mining rig right here. And what you can kind of see is I have a 2060 on there. Uh, I think I have a 1660 on there. And I can't remember. I think that's a Radian 5700, I think. Anyway, you can also see spider webs and all this kind of stuff. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pulling this down, hauling this up to uh, my our new garage where I'm setting up my crypto mining stuff again. And we're going to use an air compressor to try to clean this sucker off. And I know there's some gotchas with that about holding fans and all that. So we're going to check it out. And uh, let's see. So this is my garage here. Sorry, pole barn. That's my garage up there. So, and, oh, and there's my cat. Anyway, uh, once I get the stuff moved up to the garage, I'll be right back. Okay, so I got an air compressor out. Uh, old one, but it works. And then I've got the mining rig. Again, this this was just thrown together years ago. Uh, just all my spare junk parts. And I'm going to clean it up. See if I can spin up a couple of these cards. The 2060 and the Radian should definitely still be useful to me. Uh, but uh, of course, we got to see will it boot? And now over here, you can see I have a rig running right now on iron, and this is a rig of Radian 6700 XTs, the XFS Radian 6700 XTs. You can see the eight video cards are using up 742 watts. And uh, yeah, so I've got this one running out here, and this is um, the first one. I've got, this old guy here that I'm going to start back up or see what works. And then I just ordered uh, or bought off of Facebook a 5600 as well as a much better mining motherboard to kind of rebuild this guy with. So, uh, so we'll go ahead and work on cleaning this off. I'll see if I can't get the camera set up so you guys can witness that fun event. Okay, so my air compressor is old and loud, so uh, sorry about that in the video, but first things first, let's start with the typical things. A really, really dirty keyboard here, and uh, I just want to make sure I start on the simple things before I actually try this on, before I actually try this on any kind of video. This keyboard's going to need actual scrubbing, but uh, uh, again, I'm really just making sure my air hose is purged of any dust. It's uh, been used in my garage and pole barn a lot. Now, I should note, with all of my stuff that's over here that I'm cleaning off, I really don't, I really don't care if I accidentally hurt something. 
That doesn't mean I'm not going to try to be good about it, but uh, for me, it's just more important to see what works again. Now this here is an EVGA 650 watt power supply. So this is a good power supply. It's got the uh, connectors here on the back. Hopefully I'm guessing the camera angle right. Uh, trying not to spin up the fan too bad. I should probably get something to put through this vent so I can hold that still. You know what? Don't try this at home. This might work. Got a screwdriver here. Much better. Screwdriver helped that fan so it didn't spin. I felt more comfortable with it. Okay. That's actually clean. The keyboard isn't. Okay, now for a little element uh, TV slash monitor that I use. It's been out for whole barn collecting dust for forever. I'll be more careful with the video card. This was actually a free gift given to me. Not even for computer. But that's what it became. Okay. It still needs to wipe down, but... Now for the big piece. Okay, so now for this piece here. This thing is uh, quite filthy. I'm going to try and be a little bit more careful. Because these parts I actually care about more. I actually want to use them again. So first I'll start with the motherboard because that piece I'm playing in, I'm replacing Some of my riser cards. It's a shame to see this collecting dust. It's probably hard to see on the video, but we're getting better. I'm still going to have to get a little scrubbing brush uh, uh, to get some of this stuff off that's caked down. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stop here and go get a little dust bag that has a little scrubbing brush to it. Be right back. Okay, so I went and got my little hand vacuum. Uh, this is just a really basic one. There's much better ones out there, but it's got the little scrubbing brush on it that I wanted. However, it's not charged. Um, so yeah, it's currently not charged, so I'm gonna go have to charge this. So I think I'll do.
is I'll make a part two video. This is part one. Me just getting this thing cleaned up and ready. And then what I can, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my SSD in. I got to put a uh, Hive OS image on it. Uh, and once I have a Hive OS image on it and the rest of it cleaned up, I will go ahead and show you guys the attempt at starting it up. So uh, that will be in part two of this video. So until then, uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Please leave me any feedback and comments about uh, how scary of a cleaning job I'm doing and uh, all that fun stuff. I I'm more than open to hear horror stories, but uh, it needs a bath and a one. Anyway, guys, uh, I appreciate it. And until next time.